Perfect. Perfect. Hey, how's it going guys? Garrett and Tyler here with Live in Everett. Yeah, today we're in beautiful South Everett uh, on 4th Avenue and 128th. We're gonna get some tacos at this uh, place that Maxwell Mooney turned us on to called El Nopal. And uh, I'm starving and I want a horchata. So let's, let's do, do, it. do this. Boom. Everybody, try it. How do you normally do this? Well, hey everybody, we just got done eating at El Nopal. So, Tyler, what did you think? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> let me rub my belly. <laughs> yeah, so we just got done eating at El Nopal in South Everett. What do you think? I thought it was uh, delicious. Uh, pretty small, simple little place. I had a burrito. It came already pre-cut in half which made it extra easy to eat, which I appreciated. And it was a little bit smaller than I would say, like a typical burrito I, I would get somewhere. Uh, but it was also a little bit more affordable, which was nice, it was about $8. And the burrito itself was very simple. Rice, beans, cheese, shredded chicken, that's it. But it was delicious, I, I enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised, I was expecting <clears throat> kind of just another taqueria. Everett has a ton of really great taquerias. Um, what I really appreciate about this place is their vegetarian options. They have a like soy-based meat that you can get on the tacos or in the burritos, and it's really flavorful. It's made from tofu, but it doesn't taste like tofu, you know? So I really appreciated that. I also got a side of rice and beans, which pro tip, those are also vegetarian, so they're not made with lard. And I got a horchata, and they make their uh, horchata in-house. So for vegetarians, I feel like this is kind of like the taqueria because I haven't found another traditional taqueria in Everett that has a um, soy based or meat alternative. So yeah, I really appreciated that. And they, yeah, they were really delicious, really flavorful. Hot sauce was good, service was good. Tacos were like two bucks a piece. There's a 25 cent upcharge for the soy based meat, but yeah. Yeah, so they're doing Doing good things over here. Thanks to Maxwell Mooney from uh, Narrative Coffee yeah. who gave us the tip on this place. Thanks, Max. We didn't even know about it. Uh, hey, thanks so much to El Nopal for letting us hang out. We really appreciate it. By the way, uh, for this month, we are voting on Everett's best cannabis shop. And also last month, we had a technical difficulty with voting for Everett's best yoga spot. So we extended that voting as well. Make sure you head on over to the website. We'll put the URL at the bottom of the screen and go vote right now. Hey, if you like what we're doing at Live in Everett, we would love your support. Even for just $1 a month, you can support us through Patreon. You can learn about how to support Live in Everett if you click the little yellow bar on the top of our website. So we put these videos out every single week. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Peace.